right, we are gonna do some thoughts on walks, man. Going back to a nostalgic area, super excited. It's gonna be dope, it's gonna be a dope time. Hope I can park with filling, let's see if I can do this. Nailed it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Chandler Burton Entertainment with episode nine of Thoughts on Walks. Nine episodes. I'm telling you, man, this is good therapy for me because it's nice to hear people's response to the videos. Um, a lot of people message me saying they really look forward to them, and that they're really cool. Um, so I really appreciate the love and support on the channel for all the videos, and especially Thoughts on Walks. I love being outside, and I love being able to, to film this. So uh, thank you again. I really appreciate that. Also, for episode 10, I think what I'm going to do is do like a Q&A type thing. So I'll post something in my community tab. You can head over. You can send me an email. Um, I'll have that on the community tab. Send me an email or an Instagram message with any kind of questions you have about anything, about life or about... Oh, the water just went off. What the heck? I'm on, I'm on a track right now. So, But yeah, if you have any questions about for me, send me an email or an Instagram message and I'll put that... In the next video and I think that's what I'll do for every 10 episodes of, of Thoughts on Walks. So to give you guys a couple of updates on the channel here, so I usually record my Thoughts on Walks on Tuesday and set it to premiere on Wednesday. Uh, my OBS Studios wasn't working for a little while, I had to like uninstall it, re-put everything back in, like my microphone, video capture, and it was just a disaster. So I wasn't able to upload any videos Monday, so um, you're going to be watching this on Wednesday, but Tuesday, yesterday, hopefully that makes sense, um, there's going to be like a ton of videos for you guys to watch. I don't like to spam people, but I do have a, a list of videos I need to get to, so I got to put them all out at once, so I apologize about that. And then also, <coughs> excuse me, also I just applied to be on uh, CoreyBot. It's a thing with Double Toasted. They are a movie reviewing type website, YouTube channel. Uh, so I applied to be on a game show for them, so hopefully Corey will uh, respond back to me. I think that'd be really, really cool, and then I would definitely post that on my channel. But I just want to give you guys a couple of updates before we get started with uh, Thoughts on Walks. So today's episode is going to be, as always, you know, fairly personal. I always, what I do when I think of topics, um, I usually just pray about it. I am a believer in God and His Son, Jesus Christ, so I always, I always pray to talk about, like, you know, what do I want to, what do I want to do? What do I want to talk about? Um, and I think this next topic is going to be, pretty, you know, as usual, pretty personable, but it's something that I think will help me as well. And uh, today's topic is called living the dream that you deserve. Um, I think this is going to be a really important one, especially for people like younger than me or my age. You know, I'm 27. Um, we feel like they're kind of stuck and they feel like they can't really do much you know, with their life. Um, but as always, I found a really cool video, kind of like a companion piece to help me explain, you know, what I want to talk about. So what we'll do is we will play the video as usual, and then we'll break down kind of what it's talking about, and I'll just give my uh, personal thoughts on that. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Thoughts on Walks, Living the Dream That You Deserve. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I'm here to talk to you today about you. See, there's only one you in the history of humanity. You talk to a bunch of five-year-olds, and you say, what do you want to do with your life? And they've got big dreams. They want to be a pilot. They want to be a doctor. They want to be a sports star. They want to be an astronaut. They want to do something great. But then something happens, they grow up. And then they go out in the real world and they get something called a boss or they get a job just over broke. And they start 
getting grinding down on them. The world starts wearing those dreams down and they start just existing. They give up on their dreams and they start just accepting it. But you have to show up and fight like crazy. Fight like a junkyard dog for your dreams and for your life. You've got to demand success and happiness for your family. Life will give you what you accept. If you accept a life of too much month at the end of the money, using Mr. MasterCard to pay off Mr. Visa, that's what life will give you. You gotta demand it. You gotta be a fighter. Live your best life. Attack the world, enjoy the journey. Starting now, from today forward, be changed and charging. Go out and make it happen. Every day, get up and live, learn, love, and laugh. And go out and go for it. Seize your future. Seize your destiny. And live the life you deserve. I'll see you at the top, because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless. Also, a really quick side note, the video may have some copyright in it, so what will happen is if it does have copyright, the words will be on the screen, so you'll be able to read along. I'm hoping that there isn't, but if there is, I have to respect the owner's uh, material. I, I use it, of course, um, to promote mental health and those types of things, but if there is a copyright claim, I will make sure to edit out the music and have the words on the screen, so that way you can at least read them and kind of understand what the video is talking about. I'm gonna be honest with you, man, that video hit me really hard, really, really hard. You know, being 27 years old, trying to figure out what he wants to do is a pretty normal thing. I think everybody deserves to be at their own pace. But there's a really cool line in a song by a band that I love called Memphis Mayfire. The song's called Alive in the Light, and if you wanna to listen to it, I will link it down below in the description, but also have the lyrics on the screen so that you can follow along. Um, essentially, I don't know all of it offhand, I just remember the one part, it says, your normal life, nine to five, it's just not for me, I need to feel alive. It's been a while since I listened to the song, but I think, I think that's, I think that's the lyric. <laughs> but that song, or that part of the song, made me realize something, like sometimes in life, we just settle for just that normal life that everybody does. We wake up, work nine to five, go home, and that's it. That's all that we want to do. And I gotta be honest, man, that was me for a long time because of job security. And I got to the point in my life where I was struggling at my last job. I did not perform well. I had really bad anxiety, depression. And because I caused it upon myself, I just slipped and I made a lot of mistakes. And it's one of those things where a lot of people are like, oh, I'm so sorry you were you know, that, that something happened to you there, like is there anything that you need? But I always try to look at the positive, you know, in the negative, you know? Sure, I was let go, you know, I was let go of my job, but I have to understand that maybe it was a blessing in disguise. Maybe I'm worth something more than what my last job had to offer. And I truly believe that. In the video, it talks about how, how younger kids, they want to be like a pilot or an astronaut or something ginormous and when we grow up to be adults I think sometimes we forget like it's okay you know to like be a kid sometimes like you know enjoy life and and to have those dreams I got a I got a um, I got a 13 year old cousin I won't mention any names of course but not that I've never liked them but we really have connected over the past couple of years like really become good bros and he he wants to make music and you know and I'm just like dude Honestly, it's really inspiring because I see a young kid like him working hard now to achieve those dreams for later. And a lot of people always say, like, you can't be a sports star, you can't be an actor or a musician. But you have to understand that all of those people started to, like, where we are 
right now. Like they they put in the work. They made something of themselves. And if you're happy with where you're at, I think that's fantastic. But if you're not happy, I would encourage you all to find something to make you happy, to live that dream that you want to do. Right now, my dream is to play in a metalcore band and be a motivational speaker. Like that's what I want to do. And a lot of people think that's crazy. But it doesn't matter what other people think. It matters what I think. And whatever you do in your life, if you're happy, I consider that successful. And so it doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter what you're going through in your life, you deserve to be happy. And you deserve to follow those dreams that, that you deserve. In the video it says we get one life. And we might as well do something good with this life, we might as well just be a bump on a log, you know what I'm saying? And I, I need to get my butt in gear and I need to do that. That's why I like to do thoughts on walks because it helps me be you know, more motivated. And so I really do encourage you all, if you are struggling where you're at right now, with your work, your life, try to figure out like when you were a kid, like what'd you want to do? Or like, what's that one thing that seems impossible? I say go for it, man. Again, I went for YouTube and uh, I found a lot of success. I've been very blessed and you know, I'm happy. I'm truly happy with doing YouTube and, and loving what I'm doing for the time being. I've been here before, but this was like the middle school I used to go to. Um, but you always gotta start somewhere. I love this track, it's super nice. No one's ever here. And I got really flat feet, so it really does make a difference. So, pretty good stuff. All right, so we did about 2.6 miles today. So, upping a little bit, you know. Right now, usually it's, uh, about two, but I went a little bit more today. Did a little more, more did a little more walk. Did about eight laps around the track and then uh, walked a little more around just to kind of reminisce on the old days of being in middle school when life was a little easier. So it was kind of kind of fun to go look around for a little bit. So um, but I want to thank you all for watching the video today. Um, I encourage you guys just to, you know, dream big, you know, go hard or go home. I know that's a very generic term, but, you know, just if you, I mean, if you put in the work, no matter what you do, you're going to be successful. And again, I think happiness is success. You know, you see a lot of people, uh, again, stuck in these jobs or just not happy with their life. And a lot of it's because of like being at a place they don't like working. Cause let's be honest, you're at your job the majority of the time and you, know, you need to be happy, like no matter what you're doing. So if you're happy where you are, I'm super stoked. But if you're not just find those little things to you know, to, to make your life a little bit better, to follow those dreams. You know, right now, am I able to make a lot of money doing YouTube? I'm not, I have to work another job. But, you know, I have a goal, like while I am doing school, and I would love to make YouTube just my, uh, my job while I'm going to school. That way I can make my own schedule, know that I'm gonna be able to pay my own bills. I'm not there quite yet, but eventually I know I will be because I'm gonna put in that work and I'm gonna work hard to achieve my dreams of what I want to do. So I encourage you guys again to find that little thing that makes you happy and just go for it. Whether you're young, middle-aged, older, doesn't matter. Just do what you want to do and you will find success. Um, if you do like the video, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the like button and feel free to share the video with your friends as well. Uh, that means the world to me. But again, thank you so much for watching this episode of Thoughts on Walks. Until next time, I hope you all take care and thank you again for your ongoing support. It means the world.